Steven's drilling holes. Well, I'm tired of drilling holes. I'm tired of tapping holes. I'm tired of measuring for holes that I will later drill and tap. Step 463 out of 9,371 to go. We are back, and this is going to be the first vlog of this new series of building a race GP ski. So we're going to pick up a freight uh, shipment and uh, hopefully crossing fingers, legs, knees, and toes um, that it wasn't damaged. Jet and the donor right here. That should be fun. So what we did last time was we're still waiting on parts. The with all this winter stuff going on, USPS, which is the ones that are shipping our packages, have pretty much lost everything. So we <clears throat> excuse me, kind of adjusted the pole here and installed, basically installed the steering. So, pole came installed with the pole bracket here. Uh, so that's really as far as we've gotten. We put the hood seal on too, so it's doing its thing. First step, battery out. It's a six. We have discussed. We are not going to pull the engine today. It is ready to pull. So we have to get our little guy set up there. Don't know if it works. Uh, and if we pull the engine, it's just gonna be in the way. So we're at the end of the day here. So we're just gonna leave it in here. It'll be nice and safe. So our next session will be pulling the engine, uh, pulling the fuel tank, which is going to be interesting. Okay, engine out. Put on the gas tank, so we gotta get the ECU. Jeez. Okay. It's like a real good solution. Ooh. Wow. Sound of power. Okay, mm. so you gotta take this off. Probably getting those hoses off is gonna be not a fun job. Is it loose from the thing? It's really in there. Eat. Oh, there you go. Oh, look at that. <laughs> All right. Look at this sweet hole. Oh, that's a big hole. Yeah. There's a lot of fuel in here still. You want to try to siphon it? Yeah, you're going to have to. Okay. Like the top foam like holds it in. It's just too much fuel. It's just more heavy. It's still? full of fuel. There's still this decent he's, amount of fuel on it. coming. All right. So much fun. A tank. Got All it. right. Focus. Okay, so trimming that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, whatever I see pics of them, it's basically trimmed there, okay. and I think 
I think he, I don't know, I think he cuts this off too. I have to look. Yeah, there's really no reason to have that. Yeah. And then maybe the front, because it doesn't look yeah, like it, it goes super far yeah, in there. Yeah, because I think this yeah. uh -huh. has to be here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. So, all right, got that accomplished. Yeah, we have to drill a big hole. <laughs> First, we're going to drill many small holes. Eventually, we will need this. Woo. All right. We're work our way up. Detritus. Wow, we have to. Okay, we got it threaded. And we got it cleaned out with this uh, attachment here. Very custom. So you can get out all the dust. All right, so we get the, uh, the other round. Got the little hot knife over here. See, we've got it all trimmed up. Look at that. Yeah, I hacked the side off. This just floats into nowhere, so it'll look weird having an open square for nothing. Okay. That's where the tool kit goes, so I just kind of made it okay. sort of follow the line of it. Looks good. Chopped the front off. Okay. And then I had to cut these off because when you push it forward, you hit these corners and you lose this much space. Oh, up in the corner. Yeah. Yeah, so when I had it earlier. Okay. Before I cut the corners off, I can get it to like there. Uh, I just cut the corners off and it goes way up there. Oh yeah, that fits nice. Yeah, so we'll have to put the tank in there and see how close it is to this, but I'm guessing what he's saying is the further forward you can get it, the less wonkiness you're gonna have trying to get that. Yeah, so we got the uh, first plugs installed today. Got the uh, uh, steering cable out of the SXR and into this baby. Steven uh, did the trim cable a previous time that I have on camera. Yeah, good little, good little work session today after coming home from the shop. So, uh, not bad. Get to hang out in the garage with the lizards. get with anything. Okay, well we're back in the shop. This is a different day. This is a different day. <laughs> it's tough to keep up with them now. I've had so many days of struggling. Okay, so it looks like you're putting on the throttle. Yeah, I just want to get all the controls and cables and stuff run and then we'll try and jam the uh, little hoses through the front for okay. all the cables and everything. So get this stuff set up so we put the motor in. I have kind of an idea of where everything needs to go and what reaches and what doesn't. So It's pretty slow going but we're we're making it. It's all the stuff you don't know. It's like, <laughs> you know, the pump. Apparently the impeller that fits an SXR does not fit the Solus pump unless you either machine the hub of the impeller down or you install a set or series of shims. So I'm trying to figure out what I want to do there. Okay, so I'm taking this off to try to get to the lights. How do you get the lights out?
Okay, so this is the relay. Understand that there's a heritage. What? Some metal down there. Okay. That looks deep enough. We got through the plate, like you say. Yeah. One guy you feel it. Okay. See it going to Steven did the battery box. Scary. Yeah, lots of uh, tapping into the hole. Uh, you did the, uh, what is that thing? Relay? Yep, semi scary. Got all the cables routed. Mm -hmm. uh, That's pretty much been it. Yeah, so mostly last time this was really tedious doing all the, the tapping and stuff. So obviously the engine is back out again and we are about to uh, put the drive shaft in and try to align the pump stuff. Try. That's too. F is that where the hole? I'm trying. I can't. Hold Here, hold. I'll hold this. So okay. this hole lines yeah. up with that dot. Okay. I got it. Let's get our O-ring so our spacing is right. Okay. Yep, so uh, now on to putting the engine. Alright, we're gonna see how well or poorly this lines up. Time to bolt down Das engine in there. But the motor's in, the drive line's aligned, we're putting the cover on, and uh, now we're starting to button stuff up. Okay. Okay, so what you can do is see how far off it is on the exhaust holes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. But that's very close. Test with the exhaust. Uh, need to trim down the water box a little bit. So we're moving on to putting in some of the electronic stuff. Those are the holes that Steven tapped the other day. So we tapped those and then he also installed the battery box too. Okay, yeah, you're past the sharp stuff. Where are the bolts? These? Yeah, look at that. Looking more like an engine. <laughs> yep. Okay, so intake's on. Now we're trying to figure out where the hood's hitting. Looks like it's hitting here. And this little guy here. So that's easy. This is going to have some hood modification. this hose because this one's got a swing to go out. This is an out. And over there's an out. Oh, into your water box? Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, hole. pisser. Okay, so we've got that ground down. We've got that ground down. I guess we've cleaned up with a paper towel. It's got some fuzzies on it. Exhaust on. Water box on. More holes. 
So you're gonna do them over each other or you're gonna do them in front of each other? One and then one. Oh, okay. So you're gonna follow the line? In theory. Okay. Yeah. There's a lot of theory going on here. We put this here. Okay. How much bigger is this? So yesterday we ended with finding out where we want to put the ECU bracket. Steven has pulled everything off the bracket. Where's the bracket? Okay. So now we're going to figure out how we want to mount it. That's going to be the hard part. So we have our Thunder workbench here. Thanks for a nice storage. Come here. Hold it. And hold it. I need to look at something. So about to epoxy on the UFO mounts. There. So we're just doing, uh, putting some grease, or he's putting some grease on the threads, uh, so the epoxy does not adhere to the threads. That's the theory, at least. Okay. So that didn't go well. It hardened. It was goopy and really liquid, and then suddenly it was just hard. Okay. So we abandoned the epoxy idea just because it's just too thin. And that- yeah, It's water and then it's instantly rock. So we need something thicker because the hole is not flat. So when you put that bracket in there, some sit flush and the other ones sit like this. So we need to just get it tacked up there and stuck. So uh, and then we're gonna plan to like glass over it all. So this will just be to hold the mounts where they need to be. And then we will find a solution for, you know, permanently attaching them. And the reason that we're doing this, I don't know if I explained it before, is that the stock setup goes through the hole. Uh, and you have bolts on the outside. And not really a super fan of that, so we're trying to do it um, just a little bit differently. Uh, but Less it, drilling, more better. Yeah, less drilling, more better. So uh, it may be more difficult, but we'll figure it out. All right. There's the urethane we are going to cover up and make look like it was never there. Okay, so these just have, what goes behind it? Oh, that's a weird thing. It's a nut thing. It you got the cotter pin, you take the Phillips out, okay. and then the pin ought to be able to come out and you should be able to put the new one on. And then... It's going the right way, right? So where's the spring? Okay, the spring's not flying away. Okay, so we'll need our new one and see if it fits. Okay, so where's the new one? Of course it was uh, cross-threaded, so we had... Well, it was weird, just the little end, end. was it up, just here. Fortunately, like it came straight out of here. had a little tap. Kit came in handy once again, and we cleaned up the threads, and now uh, we're able to reassemble it. Jeez, always something. I mean, I've not done one thing on this, and it was like, yeah, I did it. It's like, nope, it requires cutting, grinding, fitting, shaping. You have factory crafts jacked up. Upside tape. We have almost completed putting this <laughs> seating device together. All right, test her out. You, sco you can scoot around. Ooh, put you at the right level too. <laughs> There's a thunder there. <laughs> this is quality bearings. Thank you. 
carbon fiber sheet mat here. Clean it up. Put over those UFO mounts. This stuff is very thick. First one. Now for the fun part. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how you're gonna do that. I don't know how I'm gonna do it. At least this one you kind of have a range, huh? Mm-hmm. Good luck. Drilling holes. Well, I'm tired of drilling holes. I'm tired of tapping holes. I'm tired of measuring for holes that I will later drill and tap. Okay, the moment Ready of truth. For our first clipping. First clipping? Uh, oh, look at that. Yeah. That is so nice. Machines made it happen. Yeah, that's cool. Alright, well, one thing down. Alright, on. Very good. Cleaning with alcohol. It's nice and squeaky clean. Move the notes over to the Thunder note board and uh, workbench. Storage. Storage, workbench, notepad. Speaking of Thunder. Have each side looking quite nice. Now we have, let me bring the light over here. Ooh, my custom old hat. World's first right here. I'm going to attempt to stick this down. Are you in the center? All right. Here it is. This is looking really nice. What is this? We're March 21st. We started this, I don't know, well, mid. We've done more work today in one day than we've managed to in weeks. Yeah. Yeah, on a rainy day. Kicker guy, does it fit in there? I'll trim this. Okay. Once I got that down, I guess I can mark it now. Well, yeah, because you're gonna want to trim it <laughs> so it doesn't get. Uh, yeah. Flexible. 
stuff's a little stretchy. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I have to leave and go get oil, so the next part of this probably won't be videoed, but you guys get the idea. Okay. Yeah, it's good though. It's good enough, man. Yeah. I'm just gonna step. Professional. Yeah, it's nice that it follows all the lines. You don't have to like fold it in weird ways. That was turn number three on the Alright, uh, we are working on the ski. Watching skis. Watching skis. So next we are going to You are going to I apparently am going to attempt to install the wiring harness and well mainly it's the uh, mount here, the ECU mount. So that finally dried uh carbon on the uh, mounts there because we didn't want to drill through the hole. Came out alright, and uh, hopefully it all fits. So that's really the next biggest thing is uh, doing that. Steven put oil in the engine, so we actually are ready to start it. Uh, we're not going to start it dry. <laughs> uh, new plugs. Alright, that's so all I'm going to video of this because I'm going to have to help, but wish us luck. Alright. Okay, and we're back. Got the ECU mount on, so our mounts did work. And now we are going to attach the ECU to the mount and try to route all of these cables. Okay, so coils. Three and two. What, one and four? Is there only other numbers left? Yep. Good job. All right, math. I'm doing this wrong. I'm doing it wrong. Okay, schnoop. Schnoop. Okay. Okay, priming. No fuel in there. Oh, it has zero fuel? Okay. Okay. Power. All right, power. Started, it idled, it took throttle. It idled back down, it, it didn't continue to throttle. <laughs> uh, it's on, turns it off, water comes out of the correct hole. Yeah, it comes out of the exhaust, comes out of the pissers. Huh? Nothing got excitingly hot or colorful or smelly. Yeah. So, first, maiden start. Step 463 out of 9,370 more to go. All right, so we've got our wrap attack, our vinyl installation. So now it is graphics time. And would you look at them? Shiny.
Okay, so we got the graphics on. We had some hair dryer action, so everything is molded. It looks <laughs> spectacular. Definitely gnarly. Uh, so Steven is now putting on the finishing touch here. You can see it's dark outside. Um, we did this all in one day. Oh, that's hilarious, yeah. All in one day. 